This is Steve Kennedy with Recruit Virtually 360 in Atlanta, Georgia, here to talk to you about the difference between laser scanning versus 360 degree panoramic photography when it comes to creating content for a virtual recruiting and campus tour using an example we recently completed for Auburn football. This is the south end zone of Jordan Hare Stadium. This building being highlighted, the first floor happens to house recruiting center and game day locker room. When we scouted this to shoot it, we realized that they had invested a tremendous amount of dollars to create a museum-like experience where there were very expensive wall graphics, lots of trophy cases, and as you travel down the hallways, you started to see there were different stops that told different parts of the Auburn football brand and story. So in order to capture this the right way, we chose to go the route of using laser scanning because of the high resolution and detail of being able to zero in on literally maybe a 12 or 14 point font on things like placards that are attached with insignias to particular trophies. So what you're looking at here is the scan map from that project. What you're seeing is several blue dots and each blue dot represents an individual scan where we basically are taking a scan about every 8 to 15 feet, which what that does for us is creates a really nice high resolution 3D digital twin of that venue, which looks like this. One of the things that's really fun about a digital twin is you get a lot of flexibility in viewing options. This is something we refer to as a dollhouse view where you actually can fly over the entire rendering and see how all these different rooms are set up. I'm actually gonna jump over here to the recruiting lounge and we're brought to the center of that room and as I was trying to demonstrate to you a little bit earlier, those blue dots are actually seen through these little white circles everywhere. So if we would have stuck with traditional 360 degree panoramic photography, we would have never known what is behind this white column here. But because we use laser scanning, we've got close to 10 or 12 different scans that we can actually jump to. And another nice advantage of laser scanning is just how beautifully high res these things are. I can zoom in and actually read what's on these beautiful museum pieces. To demonstrate that high resolution just a little bit further, right over here is the presentation of the Heisman Trophy winners at Auburn. And everybody's probably ever seen the placards on Heisman trophies before you know the font at its smallest probably is around 10 point but look at there we actually can read that entire placard. Thanks a lot feel free to hit me with any questions or comments that you have and hope to see you on campus.